Hi, I'm Brian. This is our online entry for our project, which we hope will be considered for this year's National Science and Engineering Competition. A high percentage of students are absent from school each year due to illnesses. Research shows that germs and bacteria can be killed by using a UVC light and can kill 99.9% .9 bacteria. This method is currently being tested in hospitals to sanitize. Hello, I'm Maya Mystery from Ashton Community Science College and the aim of this experiment is to test the effect of UVC light on bacteria. To keep this experiment a fair test, I'm going to control some variables. These variables are the same type of bacteria used and then I'm going to place all the agar plates into an incub incubator at the same temperature of 28 degrees for the same amount of time. The dependent variable in this experiment is to see how much bacteria grows on the agar plates. The independent variable of this experiment is the amount of UV light I'm going to shine on each agar plate. First of all, I'm going to dip this cotton bud in the bacterial solution. I'm going to smear it over this agar jelly in a zigzag motion and turn it 90 degrees and smear it again to ensure there is even coverage. Next I'm going to seal this thing with two bits of tape on either side to ensure no more bacteria gets in. As this is the control plate and we are shining no UVC light on it, I'm going to write control on the side. I've already swabbed bacteria onto this agar plate and now I'm going to shine this UVC light on it for five seconds. Now I'm going to label it seconds and place it into the incubator. I have shown the UVC light on each agar plate for five, at an interval of five seconds. So now I have the control which are at zero, and then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five seconds. I'm now going to place oh I've repeated and place all 12 plates into the incubator. I have repeated each plate twice because I want to ensure that my results are reliable. I'm going to come back in 48 hours to form my conclusion and evaluate the success of my experiment. You can clearly see the difference between the control plate and the plate that was exposed to 25 seconds of UVC light. I analysed each plate by taping off a 1cm squared area on the lid of the plates. I then counted the number of bacteria columns within this area. Starting with the control plate, I counted 58 columns of bacteria within the 1cm squared area. The 5 second plate contained 44, the 10 second plate had 41, the 15 second plate had 39, the 20 second plate had 37 and the 25 second plate contained 26 columns. This is our graph, which demonstrates the findings from our experiment. From this illustration, you can see the longer the bacteria was exposed to UVC light, the more bacteria killed. This means that the UVC light, if made safe, could be used like this inside the button. Once this hidden light has been combined with a common LED, it could make our project a reality. The concept could be used in many different publicly pushed buttons to self-clean and kill off surface bacteria, which would reduce the spread of illness and number of days lost at school due, due to being ill.